Hello and welcome, I am Ulamrox and we are playing The Last Federation, The Lost Technologies. So let's have a look at the computer advisor, see if uh, she can suggest something for us to do. Because right now we have four races that are spacefaring. So let's see, the computer advisor suggests uh, alliances, but uh, we can't really do anything with this. Seeing as um, there are no permanent alliances outside the federation. So this is more like a suggestions for influence gain. And we have the oh the top three powers outside the federation. Okay. So the directions are number six. That's good. Although probably not for long. So we have um, military and science technology you are behind on. So we are behind on fiber optics and fleet construction nano robotics. We will go for this one. See how long that takes. We can go into the tech progress and see who likes it. Who we can actually research it with. So that was uh, these guys. Everyone likes it and it has a need for advanced atomic theory. So we know the Andor has that, so let's go and research it with those guys. Although I don't mind them getting stronger. So this will take seven minutes, that's really good. We'll gain four influence, let's do this. And... There we go. So, alliances in general and the Federation in particular. Broker trade route. We can finally do this. I've been waiting for this one. Uh, it is time to start thinking about the Federation at last. New political deals relating to the Federation have now opened up to, uh, with every race. Some races are easier to get into the Federation. The Pultians and Andals are very easy. The skull actions are pretty straightforward. The main uh, requirement with those three are a high enough influence rating with the races involved. But nothing's ever that simple. A lot of the other races are much more resistant, and if you have a bad influence with any race, you may never be able to directly convince them. If that's the case, then you have only two options. Make sure that the race gets exterminated, or use another race as a backdoor to lure them into the Federation. The Skull Actions, Accusions and Boreans are excellent for convincing other races to join under the right circumstances. So we will try and make friends with the Skull Actions. Apparently they are like the ultimate peace brokers. Accusions, I'm a bit wary, um, boosting because they have the Ark and they already have more space power and uh, ground troop power than the other guys. And the Boreans are of course our enemy, so there's that. Special circumstances can also lead to the formation of a federation. For instance, if the Burlasts, Accusions and Thoractions all really like you, you convince them to make a federation, but they may betray you in return, so watch out. And all of these guys are pretty aggressive, so no wonder. Or if the combined might of the federation Mili oh, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> or if the combined might of the Federation military is strong enough, you can convince the Berlos to join based on, well, we'll call it respect. Bear in mind that it does matter which government you approach. The same deal that was so cheap when approaching the Andor to form a Federation with the Peltians is not something you can afford in the Peltian uh, voting proxies on the other end of the bargain. Your influence with the government you are di directly brokering with is a big factor. So it does make sense to broker with someone we really like and someone who likes us a lot. Well hey, that still doesn't sound too bad. I repeat, nothing, nothing's ever that simple. Once the Federation has formed, resistance and resentment immediately start building against it. Anti-Federation Alliance, or AFA, will start gathering demonstrators, some of whom eventually turn into insurgents. You and the Federation governments can hunt them down. But this doesn't always go well enough, uh, go well with the enemy governments, and AFA sympathizers even crop up within the Federation itself. 
More bad news, Federation is not remotely the only kind of alliance that can form. At least a half a dozen distinct kinds of hostile alliances may form if the Federation progresses a certain way. I tell you, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. So this sounds like it's going to be a big issue. Suffice to say, once an alliance form, it must be destroyed. A hostile alliance, that is. One way or another, once one forms, details on what conditions must be met to break it are revealed. Okay, remember your goal is to, yeah, of course you want to make a federation that unites everything. That is the goal of this game. And being peaceful about it. So it took seven minutes and one second. We gained 1800 credits and they like us quite a bit more. Not quite a bit, a slight bit more. So almost 72, that's good. I think we might want to try and boost this at some point, but right now we are going to try and help these guys. Because they do have a tech for us. So the Raction military has a secret proposal to gain Spain spacefaring tech. Though you hear my voice through the mouth of a worker, it is I, the Hive Queen, speaking to you. My aerospace oriented drones are on the cusp of gaining the ability to launch ourselves into space, but we could use your assist assistance in accelerating this. There is some sort of military operation going on in our upper atmosphere involving races that are already spacefaring. They seem to have found some sort of abandoned technology of yours. So, we have to kill some ships and see if we can get a lot of cash and some tech. Let's do this. So, we got one here, we got one up here, and one down there we can't see. We apparently have some direction and help. I thought you guys were in spacefaring. This seems very spacefaring to me. That may just be me. So let's start with uh, this guy up here and um, just full throttle ahead, I guess. Are we take damage from this? I don't think so. Um, what is our range? Not good enough. Okay, so we are going to do this. And uh, yeah, we are going to give it all and uh, take this down. Boost to our shields. So we can see here that apparently the shields have a mitigating effect. So right now we are taking 10% more damage than if we did this. So that's quite significant. Each point gives apparently 10% mitigation. That's quite big actually. Let's see, we get a damage multiplier of. 20% that's also really good so right now we have damage multiply of 80% so I guess we just go ham on this guy let's do fire and select ship and we can use the minigun that's the best weapon also the giga cannon apparently so let's do this we have to select ship and select that one just want to take it down this has uh, uh, it's not that powerful And uh, its shields are very much down. Let's use the mass drive and see what that does. Concussive ordinances that does excellent damage and also blocks incoming shots. Okay, let's have a look. Bam, it is down. I very much would like these. You can always use them. Let's do auto fire. And uh, yeah. So we rescued three skull actions, who by the way is the enemy in this fight. Let's go ahead and take this all the way down. Let's take movement speed all the way up and go for this guy down here. Let's just fire while we are on our way. And it doesn't appear like we take damage from these guys. That's good. Let's give uh, it full power to our weapons. Wish you could, uh, you know, press a button to do this. 
Yeah, we are definitely going for that guy. Should we try and use an ability? Or is it Giga Cannon? That is uh, auto targets a nearby enemy ship. We have the Shockwave Rhyme. That's not a long range. Yeah, let's do this. Let's launch some fighters. Bam. Lots of fighters. What is this? Operation Raps. Yeah, let's do that as well. I'll tell what one. Rapses. Yeah. It's my fleet. Yeah, I guess that's good. We will just shoot at him. Holy crap. He's dead. He is so dead. Let's continue. I'm surprised he's not dead yet. Um, is that this the one? He launched some claymores. But he should be dead. Let's try the virus. Because he apparently just launched a lot of things. Claymore, enemy. Yeah, let's do that. Virus. What did that actually do? Broadcast the virus to take over all small and medium ships that are within range. So that is apparently a thousand range. That is good to know. That's really good to know. Because a thousand seems like a lot, but this isn't a lot. So you are actually a big ship then. Apparently. I would never have guessed. Let's uh, divert power to mobility. Let's go for that guy down here that's hiding from us. We still have one left to kill. Which, of course, is this guy. He's just. I don't know what he's doing. Being an ass. We are within range, so let's uh, go for full weapons again. Let's uh, turn around. Go for select target minigun and fire at this guy. That was quick. Holy crap. We have become really efficient in killing. The Thraxians are now spacefaring. Searching dictionary for a phrase more urgent than extreme danger. Done. Imminent doom is today's advisory. Well, that was much better. Yay, imminent doom. So, we gained a lot of... Uh, Influence with the Thoractions, and we gained a lot of credits, yeah. Also we gained some Hyrule Tech it seems, also 9 skill actions, and it took us 10 seconds. 10 months. So let's see, can we actually see what we gained? We gained a Gravity Lance. Gravity weapon that fires a lance-like beam. I think that was the one we saw from uh, the Raptors. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, including carving through most large ships, not too effective against most mid-sized ships, and it has short range. I think we will keep this. I like this setup for now. Even though we do have a lot of hull damage. Then again, we don't really have anything against shields. I think the minigun is our best weapon for shields, and the mass driver is apparently our best weapon for hull. So let's just do this then. So we've got a lot of credits, let's have a look at how powerful the Thoractions are. Um, that is you. Nothing yet, apparently. Gold to the sea, base power and armadas. So the Andor are leading an armada, but in effective power. Let's see the accusions, they are right here. Effective power. The accusions have very powerful warships. And uh, these has a medical disaster, so that's good. We have. That is us. Uranium ground power. Surplus of uranium. Mm, thanks to the incredible high unused stockpiles of uranium and jam that Andor government has been able to institute a temporary military program that improves the ground power by 2. It was already by 22, so that's 
really powerful. Yeah. About this accusations, basic sub sub theory. That's all right. Evox low drag casing. That's all right. Actually, these are becoming space faring very soon. Let's see if we can initiate a trade. Can we initiate trades? Trade, 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 trade. General agenda. No. We can colonize a moon with you guys. I think that might be the thing we're going to do. I still can't find any trade. Let's have a look at these guys. Friendly acts. Um, I might just be blind, but I can't for the life of me see it anywhere. Crack down on crime, no. What about trade deals? No. Federation deals? No. Hmm. That is, uh... What about the Sky Elections? What about you guys? No. I think we will try and colonize your moon. Let's see. That was not what I wondered. Sky Election Senate. We haven't even looked at these guys. The Galactian Senate is an interplanetary body that makes all decisions for the race. The Galactians are seen as a fair brokers by all the other races and thus are good relations uh, ship with them can make uh, with them can help you backdoor other races into the Federation even if the other races hate you. Trouble is the Galactians are likely to take issue with many of your activities. So, we can see they are not pro-federation right now, 15%. Mm, Anti-tax, yeah. They are very pro-trade, so... No, apparently not. Local. Colonize Moon, that's what we want. So that's going to take one minute. Let's do that. That will take a minute. And uh, these are still three minutes away. I think that will be in the next video. But right now, let's do some more colonizing of moons. I didn't even look what you got. Um, can I see it down here? Skull Action's got more molybdenum. Molybdenum. Uh, I think. Well, Dinium is not something that is lacking right now, so we will try again. Can I actually see what we're going to get? No. Moon will be colonized. Let's try. Sinotime was colonized. No, Moon bearing Sinotime was colonized, so I don't think we have that yet. And uh, that helps, so we can do, I think, Maybe one or two more. Let's boost these guys by colonizing a moon. Yes. More. We demand more. I think we might just be in time by one second. One measly second. So let's do this with the Andors. Let's colonize another moon. Execute deal. Bam. Whoa. What happened? You guys just see that? Um, thanks to the incredible high unused stockpile. Yeah, they will get a bioengineering. That's good. New hydro. Signal the Andors. You have detected a signal that does not match the technology of any living race, but it does match yours. If you search for from a planet or outposts in the icy belt, you may be able to find additional hydro tech. So what is the ice belt? We're definitely going down here. Huh. Might have to look into that next time. Yeah, there is an hydro tech somewhere. Happened a minute ago. From these guys. 
So we will definitely be visiting the Andorm. We might have to do something. We definitely want our tech. It's, I mean, it's our tech. We need it. But I thank you for watching this time and I uh, hope to see you next time where we will make the Ewoks uh, spacefaring. So, have a good one and thanks for watching. Bye.